Hi friends, today we will do one nice remedy which is very commonly used in our day to day practice. Okay, and uh, that is aconite. Let's understand how to use aconite uh, more frequent and in very easy ways. Okay, so if one thing about aconite that um, we all should know is that it is uh, not the one who will lead okay it is not a leader uh, how it must have come into evolution was that when life came into form so there were there were limited life forms okay now out of that limited life forms then later on multiplication took place and diverse life forms came into place so then when those diverse life forms came into place there must have been a group of uh, species which were the followers of the initial ones initial ones matlab who uh, came into evolution before them or who were born before them okay they were the leaders and then there was a flock there was a species or there were few from those species who would follow their leaders or who would follow the one who have come into birth or who have come into life previous to them so aconite is from that group of uh, people who will follow what the others are doing okay uh, now why does it do so there is a rubric in uh, aconite delusion sheep driving so sheep are what you know they get influenced easily and they follow their flock the group who whatever others are doing so sheep kaisa hota hai na bas aise chalta hai aise dekhta hai samne dekh ke side mein means they won't think uh, beyond the necessary or beyond what is shown to them they have been shown a path that okay if you fall ill that then you have to go to the this doctor and this doctor will give you some medicine you take it so that will be how aconite personality will be so they have been uh, shown a path they follow that path and they won't think beyond that and they are very um, contented or they they feel at peace in that path they are not contented but they feel that ha- they feel that security in that path that now i won't be harmed or now uh, nothing can affect me negatively so what affects aconite is darkness darkness could be in any form darkness is where you don't know what is going to happen or how it will happen so that dark situation for aconite if you see the ailments from of aconite there are so many uh, aconite is mentioned almost all kinds of ailments from from excessive joy from unhappiness from bad news from horrible incidents fright from sight of an accident fright then death of loved ones from anger from sexual abuse from love disappointed okay pyar nahi mila jahan chahte the so then uh, also an ailments from hurry there was a nice case of aconite um, uh, the lady who had uh, migrated from another state to mumbai okay now you know how the life of mumbai is it is very fast forward everything just takes place back to back back to back people are moving in a hurry okay and i had applied this rubric ailments from hurry because she had come from a uh, two tier city and when coming to from a two tier three tier city to mumbai it's absolutely horrible for them <laughs> to face that you know wake up every morning and prepare the tiffin for kids and for husband and why they have to go fast the husband also wants to leave home on time because you know he has to catch the train on time leave of uh, reach office on time and the public transport is like you know a uh, lot of traffic and so everyone wants to leave at the same time and she was like she had a lot of problem of acute gastritis okay so i asked her what is stressing you so much so then her speech was you know really low low in the sense very slow she was slow in talking so that slowness in talking was itself like 
energy with maybe I have too much energy so then I analyzed it this way that uh, she was having very low energies in talking and she told that I have come from uh, some part of south she had migrated from so then from there uh, coming to Mumbai and then two sons she has and second son is very hyper okay so she was worried for him also that uh, he is in a lower class for, uh, because of uh, uh, migration from another city he is not able to cope up with Hindi over here and so um, he is not able to talk to people properly so we have kept him the school has asked to keep him in a lower class because he is not that good in studies also so he, that was one more worry another was that for two sons she has to wake up early in the morning prepare tiffin for the sons then for the husband then uh, those uh, maids will come then doing all this takes a toll on her and that acidity aggravates in the morning itself so ailments from hurry was taken now what aconite see ailments from is there in every remedy now after ailments from what we have to see is that how is the patient taking that ailments from that causative factor how is he reacting in it okay in that situation what is the reaction of this person so how is he adapting and um, how is he facing it okay so after getting that hurry jab hurry ho raha hai na you have to do this you have to do this back to back back to back then from there she was landing in this state where she wanted to get out of it she drink drinks a lot of water and uh, she takes antacid uh, then she's like I, I just take the antacid uh, quickly and then I feel that I should be fine and then you know there was this state in her which she was getting very panic and she was like something is there something is there and my uh, I'm going to die or something is going to happen to me and the state was repeating in her for which she came to homeopathy later on but she's like because of this problem my husband is to take off so he's like I, I was not able to manage it so my husband had to take frequent offs when I used to get this attack I could not make the tiffin also and then he has to take me to the uh, GP and uh, get me injected and with that injection only I used to get relieved so that carried desire to be carried fast was there that I want that injection and only with the injection I feel uh, if I take, take the tablet it is not subsiding and then so that was her state that acute state I asked her so then she was like hey, now this is happening too much and that is why I came to homeopathy that so then with aconite uh, she just took uh, one dose of aconite and throughout the week she felt so fine and then that hurriedness also subsided okay she was like now I'm able to manage the routine I'm, I'm into that track of doing things that fast and more acceptable of the situation okay so what aconite wants is that uh, this is one situation another could be that something is there for which so now next step was what that she wanted treatment of her son okay so anxiety children about me bhi aconite hai anxiety children uh, I have taken this in a uh, lot of mothers mothers have this frequent issues of uh, getting worried for their kids there was one more case of aconite lady only where her son had uh, cancer okay she, he had blood cancer a very young boy three years of age okay and uh, she has another elder daughter also whom she had left in her hometown and she had come here for the treatment of her son for blood cancer now after coming here she was under that panic you know that what will happen to him how we will get the treatment done actually her problem was having those viral corns those black corns on her entire great toe and it was so painful to her she was like any slightest of touch and pain is too much for me to bear and she was looking again that uh, low tone and uh, so I asked her that what is paining you so much then she told me that the pain of her life was the life of her son whether 
uh, how he will respond to the treatment and for how long we will stay here in mumbai staying is not easy so then she has to go back to take care of her husband and her elder uh, daughter also so and because of that she had tears in her eyes and uh, she didn't know what to do about it and for her own pain also she was under that intense uh, panic that my great toe i don't know whether the toe i i will have to cut it off or what because entire toe was covered with corns so i gave her aconite 1m repeated for a week's time and then after 15 days her corns started just disappearing then she was on sl uh and in a month's time her entire toe was clean and she had that smile on her face that cheerful smile that um now my uh, son's treatment is going on well and uh after 6 months we will go to hometown so now that anxiety about her children anxiety of going back and how things will work out so that is another uh, that is one shade of aconite where she is worried for her kids and she wants that okay so wants what you know uh, those mothers who actually did not come for their own treatment initially they would come very often for a uh, treatment of their children okay and uh, whenever their child would fall ill they would just eat my head like anything eat my head in the sense of course i am duty bound that i have to treat the child but then they would be like when will my when will my child be all right uh, how fast will you uh, treat him or her tomorrow they have school and this child is not worried for school child is not worried to get well child is fine okay i will take care of the child if child has fever i'll give medicine no no doctor how fast you know thoda sa bhi little also if the child has any little issue also the phone call early in the morning my child has developed cough what time will you come to the clinic i think i'll reach by 11 or 12 uh, just relax no no if that cough will get converted to fever then he'll miss the school i think it's okay let me just come to clinic you bring your child and see your child don't worry ओके ओके यू विल कम ना आई मैं लाइक येस ऑब्वियसली आई कम आई लाइक ओके ओके फाइन सो वेन दैट एश्योरेंस वुड गो टू द मदर दैट आई वुड कम एंड सी देन शी वुड बी लाइक ओके फाइन देन शी वुड कीप द फोन ओके इन केस इफ आई से दैट आई एम नॉट कमिंग सो आई एम टेलिंग दिस अबाउट फ्रीक्वेंट experiences with multiple mothers this is how they react when the child is not well or uh, when they have some problem some family member will have a problem family member they are related husband or children the close ones okay if they have any problem they will get into panic mode and they will directly just call me up and they will not see whether i am stuck up in any issue they they are not bothered okay they are not that, that is not their priority the priority see what am i what is a doctor for aconite patient doctor is the light okay and they will go to that doctor who whom they have assurance from if that person if that doctor says that yes i will treat and yes i will be there to see your problem to face your problems and i will give you the solution then that is what makes aconite at peace so anxiety followed by indifference so that anxiety which is too much pronounced in aconite related to their children they are relatives okay cares full of relatives about me bhi hai anxiety for others mein hai okay so when anxiety for others happens when relatives are in problem when children are in problem they get anxiety is what you know anxiety where you are just thinking too much okay about anything okay so anxiety doesn't have action action is there in cares okay he will so anxiety and cares this is the difference cares is with action and anxiety is only thinking how will it happen what will happen okay so whenever their close ones are in problem they want the doctor to give them assurance even if they have problem okay so aconite uh, there was a very small infant okay and that infant had fever and i was uh, like okay what is he doing in fever so uh, the mom is like you know oh, uh, 
uh, he's changing sides sometimes he's sleeping this way sometimes he's sleeping that way the entire night i had asked the mom to observe okay and this mom also had given aconite earlier so uh, she told me that you know he's moving this way he's moving that way and he's not sleeping only i'm i'm trying to put him to sleep so much so when i'm uh, putting him to sleep he's dozing off but then a moment i stop uh, uh, so rocking ameliorates him so when i stop then he again awakens and then he is moving 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 so i was like okay fine so then i spoke to the child okay and he is such a small child he couldn't even talk and uh, the moment i started speaking to him he like oh oh i was like oh you are not well so mm, oh i was like oh my god i was so astonished that they communicate they are in communicative communicative and expansive both rubrics has have aconite and uh, in our seminars we have seen number of aconite cases where they will see communicative is what you know when do we communicate when the opposite person is not able to understand then we communicate see first every like Uh, every patient will come to the clinic and he will talk about his problem that doctor i have this and that okay so that is not communicative communicative is when after talking also i am not able to treat the patient so when i am not able to treat then the patient will say doctor i have got problem in my tonsils so if you see my tonsils then you will be able to give better medicine that is what he want to say so communicative is when he will become more specific in communicating this to me that this is what you are supposed to say doctor you have to understand my problem when the person feels that the doctor is not able to understand their problem then he communicates okay so aconite will aconite is intuitive okay intuitive like uh, without facts when you can feel okay so aconite feels that isko samajh nahi aa raha hai this person or this doctor is not able to understand my problem then he will communicate doctor this is what i have this is called psoriasis so he knows the diagnosis he knows that it is eczema or he knows whatever it is then he will say doctor are you able to will you be able to treat it and he will look straight into the eyes of the doctor and if the doctor says yes of course why not so that light has to be positive light and 100% positive okay thoda sa bhi negativity nahi chalega aconite ko you have to tell them that you will treat it and you will treat it well then aconite will persevere with you so aconite mothers i was telling na so this is how they don't bother what i am doing okay they are just worried for their children their problems and you have to treat them and in case if so there was a very bad experience of aconite uh, with one of the mother okay i i knew she was aconite then you know what happens when they see results with the children that this doctor is able to treat my children so well so then they come for their problems okay so when they feel that you know that assurance comes here yes this is the place from where i'm getting this light light is what that positivity that result orientation that solution to their problems that this is where i get that light and I, my path is clear that whenever i have a problem i can just approach her so to such uh, so this tendency of mothers is well understood that they will just call up and they will come and they will want that oh doctor you will be able to treat and they have that cheer on their face and they are very very happy after the child is fine okay now what if i say no so that is not permissible to aconite on a sunday once i because the tendency of one of the mother was too much okay for me to uh, work well um, in my clinic okay uh, because she would just interrupt any time of the day and any time of the week so on sundays also she would call me up on saturdays also on middle of the night also so i was getting irritated with her and 
um, that bad experience of aconite I did not have earlier. So it was initial time of my practice and I had given her aconite earlier also. But one Sunday when I was in middle of a function of my very important function of my family and she is calling me up repeatedly. I told her that your child is not well, you please give her crocin for the time being. Tomorrow I will definitely come and see your child but for today you please don't call me up again and again and it happens with all homeopaths you know the state of the child changes and one medicine is not working and you are not available so we tell them to give crocin sometimes so then that crocin thing was not acceptable to her she like why is she not telling me to do this okay she must have thought that way next day she did not come after that also she would take medicines of her entire family she stopped coming to me okay and uh, uh, after few days i saw her on the street like it's a small area thakur village and there we just keep meeting people very often oi fruit vendors and all those uh, dmart and all that is very common pla- common places so i started seeing her and she would just not look at me and she would go like yaar this is not acceptable to me isne aise kyu kiya na mere sath so that is death for aconite you know if in anxiety you don't give her light that is the death of the relationship also death presentiment hai na it can be applied in this way means it can be understood in this way that that is death that is cut off now you don't exist because you did not understand my problem so so anxieties i was talking about i want to tell some rubrics of aconite see there are very nice rubrics which i have collected about aconite it is there in abusive it is there in indignation so it is beyond her dignity she her dignity cannot accept that you have refused her or you have not shown her the light they go into indignation from the person whom they seek for that light and if that person refuses to give that light then that is indignation of aconite then irritability indifference to everything indifference to joy of other lot of indignate indifference rubrics are there in aconite uh, jesting cannot take a joke when they are in that fear in that fright in that anxiety you cannot joke around with them it is not a joke my child is well unwell and you are talking like this that you will see tomorrow so they cannot take that and that time if anybody jokes around also they cannot take it then uh, obstinate tossing then there is one nice rubric that i want to highlight was aversion affection for anybody has no affection during pregnancy see aconite is one uh, remedy which is also there is there an affectionate now affectionate is what affectionate is not only loving okay affectionate is you give me love i give you love okay you give me light i will give you light so that is exchange of love is affection so it is also then audacity courageous so where audacity courage is very deep meanings but all this comes when aconite is getting that light that positive light okay but when it is not getting that positive light then he will go into this negative mode in aversion indifference abusive indignation okay so has no affection during pregnancy meaning what pregnancy is that full of ideas okay wanting to express and when other person is not uh, understanding him not uh, taking his expressions not understanding his meanings what he has to say or what he means the pregnancy of ideas uh, of anxieties this not conveyed well or not taken or not understood by the other person he will have aversion for affection he will not want it then okay then he will go in that death of that relation death thoughts of death okay so this is one shade so aconite when comes to us for problems he will come for light 
for positive light for assurance he will want to get carried fast that you carry me fast carry me fast means you take my load and bring me from the state of disease to and put me in state of health okay and how you have to do it you have to do it by caressing carried desire to be carried and caressed you talk to me properly you be soft to me you be gentle to me okay these are the terms of treating uh, uh, aconite and delusion sheep driving from so sheep driving is what what others are doing he is also doing so what doctor has told without any thought he will do what the doctor has told okay so this is sheep driving from there in a society everyone goes to one doctor she will or he will also go to that doctor so because sheep driving makes you secured that from here you will not fall into trouble because all are there with you and all are doing that only